Peter Brock in car 56, the mobile BMW. Gets the, oh, gets it sideways as he takes the green flag for the start of his hot lap. That's one way to warm up the tyres. Brocky, the master of the mountain, locking up a brake. Well, he is trying very hard. Up mountain straight now. And this is where Brock is counting on the BMWs to be tough. And if anyone knows how to shave fractions of a second off a lap here, it's Peter Brock as we take Seven's race cam and see Brock working hard at the wheel. He is just magnificent over the top of the mountain, Peter Brock. Very, very quick indeed. Coming over the top of Skyline. The bonnet clip looks to have come undone there on the one side of the car. It looks to be rising a little. Rock down to the dipper. Nine-time winner of Australia's Great Race. And he's hauling the mail coming down to Forest Elbow. You won't see Brock tomorrow up running in the uh, the top five. In the early laps of the race, they are running to a very strong plan of, uh, of a one, two, uh, or three finish. The car has durability. Brock has the experience around Mount Panorama. I think it'll be very interesting to watch over the thousand k's tomorrow. Brock down beneath the bridge to complete his flying lap for two East top ten. Interesting to see the time and how much it cost him for that little sideways slew at the beginning. So Peter Brock in 56, the mobile M3 across the finishing line. Time for Peter Brock, two minutes, 25.119 seconds. That's not a bad time considering he got very much sideways coming in to take the green flag.